be a millennial for two seconds to take a selfie. So everybody. <laughs> Thank you for indulging me. Hello, Los Angeles! My name is Norbese Flint, and I'm the director at Black Women for Wellness Action Project, a new 501c4 organization dedicated to building the electoral and political power of black women throughout California, and a sister organization to Black Women for Wellness. So, uh, can I be honest with y'all for a second? Yeah. All right. I was super hyped for 2018. Was anybody else like ready for 2018 to happen? So I was like, yes. I was like on my new me, new year, hell is cliche. And I was like, this year is gonna be the year I'm gonna go and get fit. This is gonna be it. So I know a lot of you are like, why is she talking about her new year's resolutions at the Women's March? Voting, much like getting fit, right? It doesn't, work if you only show up two, every two years or every four years. It is something that you need to show up and work continuously, right? So, Los Angeles, I wanted to talk to you today about the work. See, the work is not what you do here today, it's what you do tomorrow. The work is not saying thank you to black women in Alabama for saving us from ourselves. The work is supporting black women to run for office, knocking on the doors, donating your dollars, and volunteering your hours. The work is resistance as a verb. The work is not being silent at the unacceptable number of our trans brothers and sisters being murdered for just being. So we cannot forget what is at stake. We are fighting and what we are fighting for. We are not fighting for what we had. We are fighting for a bold and radical future. We are not fighting that, we are fighting that climate change is not a political pawn, but a mission we must solve. We are not fighting just for health care, but health as a right, not a privilege. We are fighting for a future where our girls don't need hashtags of me too's and time's up because we have dismantled patriarchy and rape culture. We are fighting for Madame Presidents. We are fighting for free black children. We are fighting for Muslims. We are fighting for the undocumented. We are fighting not just for us, for our children, but for the world that we want to see. And we cannot, we cannot be fooled that this is normal. It is not normal. We are not in normal times because we need to stand steadfast. We cannot be silent. We cannot be polite. We need to be uncompromising in our fight for justice. We need to be allies, not just when it's easy, but when it's hard, when it's nobody is looking, when there is no praise. We have to resist and that we need to fight. 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 We need to fight and we will win.